An important class of functions are the exponential functions, the class of exponential functions. Well, these are all functions with domain R, and they produce positive reals, so R++. So the codomain is R++. Well, the formula for these functions is fx equals a to the power x, where a is a number, a fixed number, larger than 0, and unequal to 1. Well, we have two cases for these functions. For So let's focus on the first case. The first case is the class of function we get by restricting a in the following sense. For a smaller than 1, then a typical graph of the function is the following. The graph of f goes through the value 0, 1, the point 0, 1. Yeah, so a to the power 0 equals 1. And if I look at 1, if I plug in 1, a to the power 1 is, of course, equal to a. So a characteristic of this function is that when x becomes arbitrarily large, so when x goes to infinity, then fx goes to 0. Yeah, for instance, if, if I take a equals to a half, a half to the power 100 is almost 0. And a half to the power minus 100 is 2 to the power 100 is almost infinity, tends to infinity. So the other class is given for a larger than 1. So for instance, a equal to 2. So 2 to the power x. Again, a graph of this function goes through 0, 1 over here. And in 1 it takes assumes the value a. But now 2 to, to the power x is an increasing function, whereas a, when a was smaller than 1, it's a decreasing function. So here we see in the second case, we see that when x tends to infinity, then fx tends to infinity. And when x tends to minus infinity, then fx tends to zero. So the class of exponential functions for each a, for each ground number a, we have the following properties. You know, the, the properties that a to the power zero equals one. So 0, 1 is always on the graph of an exponential function. And also 1, a is also on the graph of a function. a to the power 1 equals a. Also, we see that actually if we sum two elements from the domain and apply an exponential function, then it's just the same as taking a product of the values in x with the value in, in y. Another rule for calculations is that a to the power minus x equals 1 over a to the power x. One of the more interesting exponential functions is the function, if you look at the right hand side in the graph, uh, it is where the tangent the line tangent to the, the tangent line to the graph of the function. Uh, where the tangent is equal to 1. And there's a unique exponential function such that the, the tangent line has slope 1. So here's the slope 1. The slope of the line equals 1. And that is for a equals the number e. And the number e is about 2.7. Yeah, so there's a unique number. We will not prove this. This requires a proof, actually. But we'll, we will not prove it here. That a equals e, which is about 